Before a biopsy can take place, the embryologist must first check for blastus formation. As the embryos will have been hatched on day three, ideally the blastus will also be herniating at this stage. To perform the biopsy, the embryologist uses a holding pipette on the left, which secures the blastocyst, and a smaller biopsy pipette on the right to aspirate the cells. Once the pipettes are aligned and primed, and the blastus is in position, it can then get secured onto the holding pipette. Then the embryologist applies a suction to the outer herniating cells using the biopsy pipette. Once these cells are pulled flat, using a laser, the embryologist lines up and fires multiple laser shots to break the junctions between the cells. With a little extra pressure, the cells can then be pulled away from the blastocyst. Ideally, a clump of approximately five cells will be removed. These cells are then thoroughly washed in a buffer solution and placed into a small tube, which can be sent away to the genetics laboratory for testing. The biopsy blastocyst is then frozen and the patients will wait for the results.